Hello, this is Dampy Longnose, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. You can see me here hanging out in my storeroom with Barnaby, who is going to be the dog accompanying me on this adventure into Minecraft. I say adventure into Minecraft, I'm only staying around my house, uh, but I've got a lot to show you. I've actually done a little bit of building since the last video, and you can see I've started building the main section of my house, the section which is actually a bridge going across the lake. And you see it's sort of a little two-story building here in the middle and what this bit is this water is <laughs> Barnaby pushing me down the stairs <laughs> almost as bad as Gregory yes yeah, so you see this river is what is flowing from the top of my storeroom you might remember that I had a little water fountain on there and it flows across this bridge uh, across the ceiling and it goes along here and it goes down here into a little waterfall which lets you land down in the middle down here which is in the bottom middle of the lake and I shouldn't have done that because I'm going to have to swim back up here, kind of like a tractor beam. <laughs> and I'm going to be joined by Crimson as off in this video. You'll probably see him just wandering around the level every now and then. Uh, actually, he's going to be building his bedroom and I'm going to be building my bedroom. So we're going to have a bit of a bedroom off. I suggested doing it a little bit like changing rooms where I'm going to build his bedroom and he builds mine, but he wasn't up for that. And uh, I also was slightly scared he was just going to put pink wool everywhere, seeing as he did build uh, my love heart. And yeah, what this bit here, this is eventually going to be a large tower, which is going to go really high up into the sky with a big viewing area uh, up at the top of it. And I'll kind of show you what I've, I'm doing with the roof. You see it's sort of like this. So the roof's going to be sort of a bit like a triangle going across there. And these two... <laughs> what's Craig building? Greg's, Greg's build... What? Craig's building his room out of obsidian. He is so trying to upstage me. I hope he doesn't change his mind and have to try and get rid of all these blocks because it takes so long uh, to destroy obsidian. So yeah, this is going to be Craig's bedroom. He seems to be going for a snow floor. Actually, he's cheating. He's getting a head up on me. I haven't even started my room. I'm still showing you around and he's already built loads of it. He also hasn't got a dog getting in his way. And this is what will be my room. You see, I haven't really started building anything yet. I'm just going to quickly show you a... Ow! <laughs> that isn't water. <laughs> I had to land on the one bit which wasn't water. Yeah, I should kind of show you what it will sort of look like outside. There's a creeper down there. I'm so glad that creeper wasn't there as I dropped down. Otherwise, yeah, that could have been annoying. And that dirt bit, ignore that. That's basically what I put there so I could build underneath. I'm going to kill this pig because I want pork chops since I just hurt myself. I need to eat pork chops to heal my legs. Thank you. Right, yeah, so you can kind of get an idea of what it will look like from the outside. So I'm going to build it so that everything inside won't affect the outside. So everything's going to be like two walls thick or two floors thick. So you'll still have that sort of wooden sandstone effect on the outside. I don't think there's any anyone new. Oh, Cornish is new, I think. Apart from that, I don't think I've updated this because... Uh, I've made this video quite soon after another video. And I'm also around here. Oh, hi, Craig. I'm also around here going to build a, um, like a mob trap thing, which is basically an area where you have uh, enemies spawn, have googly spawn in like a cave or something, and then use water and lava and stuff to kill them and like collect up bones and stuff. Because I keep finding loads of wolves now. I found like a pack of eight wolves or something, and I had no bones to capture them with. So I'm, I want to do that. Looks like Craig's there gathering snow for his bedroom. Right, so let's get to work. What I'm going for with this is I'm going to have a big glass wall on one side, kind of similar to what Craig's done. I'm going to have a dark blue wall floor and snow walls so I can kind of have pale white walls. Problem is, I didn't have very much wall and I've only got 29 wall and I actually worked out I need 91 uh, to finish the room. Actually, I'm probably going to need slightly less than that because... Uh, yeah, because of the walls. So yeah, I'm basically I'm going to start with my floor, but I'm not going to be able to finish it because I'm going to run out of wool pretty soon. So I'm just going to have to add that in a later video. So sorry, you're not going to see my completely finished room in this video, but I can't be bothered to go around and punch 90 sheep in the face. As fun as that was at first, I'm getting bored of hunting after sheep to get wool. There we go. That, that That's all the floor I could do. Oh, it's kind of like water. This is awesome. I also think I'm going to add a, a like a pool or well, not a swimming pool it's a bit too small like a bath or something and I want to have water trickling from the sky or not from, well from the ceiling so hopefully that will look quite cool but I'm going to put all my walls in now because that is something that I can actually do the good thing about Stampy's lovely world is there's no lack of snow and I like using snow and wood and stuff because they're like all resources that are kind of endless because you can plant a like a sapling to make a tree it's really easy to do that and snow Every time it snows, you get more of it, so you've got like an endless supply of it. But other things like 
I don't know, um, like sandstone. I've got a finite amount of sandstone and sand which I can ever have and once I use it I can't get it back. So that's why I kind of like using natural materials. This is a this is a green world. This is <laughs> like all about recycling and stuff. Right, here we go. I think this might look quite cool. Oh, get out oh, Barnaby, get out of the way. I just buried his head in snow. I think he's trying to hide. He's camouflaged in here. I do actually now have 13 dogs. My wolf pack has grown slightly more than last video, where I think I had 12. And uh, sorry if you've been commenting, asking to have your name in a sign or name a dog and stuff, and you think I'm ignoring you. Uh, I'm really not. It's just because I make so many of these videos, like, I don't want to upload, like, one a day, because I don't want to, like, just spam you with Minecraft videos. So don't think that I am ignoring you. It's just because... I'm like kind of stockpiled a bit, but I am trying to work through them as quickly as possible. I want it to be so like it's like you comment and then I'm seeing that video, then I make another video. I don't want it to be where every video I upload, I made that video a month ago and I'm just trying to catch up because I don't really like that. I feel like it would be more interactive if we're doing it at a more similar time. So yeah, I think this will look pretty cool. i got here my snow walls and I think I need to be one level higher for these actually. I'm just trying to make it so that from the outside it all looks like the same and yeah so this will be fine that's how my snow will be i've been playing a lot on peaceful mode so i've kind of not been worrying about getting hurt as i fall down on stuff and <laughs> now i'm just realizing i'm getting very close to dying but seeing as it's day there shouldn't be any googly so i should be all right hopefully i'll be all right and then i just need a layer of wood on here if i have time as well once i finish my room i'm going to go and do a little bit of work on the roof um I'm going to hurt myself, aren't I? Here we go. I might go grab some pork chops now. I'm going to have a nosy on Craig, see what he's doing, see if I can steal some ideas. Then I'm going to go and eat some pork chops. Okay, he's working on his ceiling. I haven't even thought about what type of ceiling I'm going to have. I'm scared our room's going to look too similar. <laughs> he just sort of stared at me like, why are you intruding? What are you doing in here? <laughs> to say hello to him. <laughs> It's funny, there's a very limited amount of animations you can do in Minecraft, so to say hello to someone, you can basically just jump or frost at them. I chose frosting. What was I doing in here? Yeah, I was going to get some pork chops. I've got loads of pork chops. It's been a, a dog owner. You sort of always need pork chops at hand. One for me, and one for Barnaby. Look at his little tail lift up in excitement. Okay, I'm just going to finish that last wash. Actually, no, I've done my walls. Shall I go for a white ceiling or something a bit more exotic? Hmm, I'm not sure actually. I don't know if like white walls, blue floor, then a completely different type of ceiling will look a bit weird. I might just go for like a wooden ceiling to be honest. I might just go for like wooden panels or stone. Stone's another option. Um, I, th I think I'll go for stone because that's something a little bit different and I've got stone on me so that will make things easier. A little bit of a makeshift steps there. Right, I'm scared I'm building these all too high, this stone. Uh, will this be visible from outside? I'm trying to work it out now. Oh, that will be, that end bit will be visible from outside. I think I've built this all, all one bit too high. If that's the ceiling there, is that a bit too low? No, that's fine actually, that's fine. I think I should have my dog get hurt. What's he doing? I know that this isn't going to be the most grand room. I know it's a little bit of a small rectangle, but I'm not, I'm not going for anything crazily ambitious with what I'm going for my stylings. I'm sort of, I'm slightly, it's just quite a modest home. I say modest, it's like a massive bridge over a lake. It's about as modest as you get in Minecraft. I see that everyone's just ambitiously trying to build the biggest and grandest thing that they can, but... I just want to make a lovely world and a lovely little home in it and once I've finished building this house completely I might move on and try and build other stuff but in terms of building like items which are like just features to look around I think I'm going to probably build all that in Crim City in Crim Azov's world which is where I built my tree house and I will be visiting that world again soon because I really haven't been there in a while and they've built a whole load of extra stuff since I last saw there so I'm actually a little bit curious myself to see what they've added I know they've added a pyramid and um, they're about to build a UFO, which is something that I suggested. And I think they've built some other stuff as well. They built a massive pirate ship, which uh, looks absolutely incredible, which I'll show you. So I think probably the next video after this one, I'm going to give you a little tour of uh, Crim City. And is it getting dark, or is that just because I'm covering up the sky? 
I do believe night is coming, so it might be a good idea to run and have a nap in bed. Is that what Craig's doing? Oh, Craig, oh, Craig just placed his bed there. I'm not sleeping in there. It's horrible. I haven't even got a roof in there. I'm going to go... Oh, oh there's, there's a zombie here already. Where are you, Barnaby? Protect me. Lazy, sleeping on the dog. Right. It might be a good idea to shut my doors. I think I'm, I think I'm going to go and bunk up in Craig's room. And apparently... Enemies spawn in on you if you have double doors as well. In this current version, there's a bit of a glitch where if you have double doors, enemies can spawn in on you. So, sleeping in here. My, oh, he's made it look so pretty. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's whizzing ahead. I think once he leaves, I'm just going to switch the signs around on the doors and have this as my room. Oh, and there's sheep down there. I want your wall, but I can't be bothered to go down. <laughs> See, he's decorated it with a load of pictures and stuff. Right, back. This is this is his room. This is Craig's lovely room. Now let's go and see Stampy's room. Oh, isn't this lovely? Oh, this is this is even better than his room. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at building and having Craig here is just emphasizing that. Oh, and I've run out of stone. I should have picked that while I was in there. Right, let's go for a resupply trip. I'm gonna grab some more stone. Oh, don't don't look in there. That's it. Come this way. Ah, oh, there's a zombie in here trying to steal my stuff. What was he at? He was at the coal. Is he fires are he trying to start? <laughs> I don't think Craig has a sword. <laughs> Craig just backing into a corner. There we go. Stampy and Barnaby teaming up to take out the undead. I think I've earned a pork chop, and I think so has Barnaby. He's been a very good boy. Normally dogs get in your way and can get a bit annoying, but Barnaby's being well behaved. He's putting up a good argument to stay with me next adventure as well, even though I do want to kind of rotate my dogs. I want to rotate my dogs. That's a very weird sentence. Okay, this this should be enough stone, and I might grab some more snow. Uh, some no, I've got enough snow actually. Where's Craig at? Well, Craig's looking in the never material again. Wonder who he's gonna build. Right. Oh, I wish I could finish my floor. It's really annoying, but as I've said before, it just sucks that wool is one of the best materials to build with because you can dye it almost any colour and you can make things look bright and pretty compared to stone and wood and stuff, but it's just so annoying just getting wool from sheep and because you can't really properly have a farm because if you try to like enclose some animals and fences and that they can just despawn and they'll just disappear and go somewhere else and it's really frustrating actually. Right, I'm gonna place in my window here. Did I just get pushed? Of course, Barnaby. <laughs> right, out of the way. Barnaby, out of the way. And by out of the way, I meant move, not jump up and down. Right, actually I can. Build this last bit here out of sandstone, just to make it so the outside, the star, will all look consistent. I kind of regret using sandstone how I have, because if you look at the way sandstone is, they've kind of got that straight bit at the top, so I think sandstone looks better when it's kind of placed in a line like that, but when it's sort of stacked upwards it looks a bit rubbish <laughs> but I've kind of just built it all out of sandstone without thinking and I do kind of regret that so I may actually go and alter it all and Barnaby out the way stop trying to push me don't make me retract what I said earlier about you being a good well behaved dog right okay I built from this side first I think this Barnaby is refusing to cooperate I just shoved this ladder in here just to get to the roof. It's always a good idea when you're building and you're building in the same area for a large amount of time just to build lots of walkways and like places for you to get around. You know, think about like get where where you're going to be going. So that's why I built that sort of dirt ring underneath because I know I'm going to be building something later on down low there. So I, thought I might as well just leave, um, leave that there so it's just easy to get places. Right, I'm going to have just a single door, because I don't want a double door, because I don't want to get woken up by googlies every night. So, the middle is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So that's going to be where my door is. I'm scared to go and look in Craig's room. I bet I'm going to look in there, and he's going to have built, like something absolutely incredible. He's going to have a jukebox playing, he's going to be holding a party there, he's going to have a glitter ball and lights flashing, it's going to be the most amazing appealing room ever and he's going to come in here and see that I've built this <laughs> and it's going to look awful. You can't even get through my door properly because I don't even have a floor there. I might just put like, I don't know, just anything down for now, I might just put some wood down just, just, just for now. Just for this area at least. Oh, this looks so bad. This looks awful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm 
that this is the crappy room that I'm building. Right, I'm going to add my little door in. Yeah, I, I've got just a little balcony bit coming out here. And I haven't even built my door centre. Look at that. That is why I place dirt before I put glass in. Because so many times do I do this where I place glass and realise I've got to move it. Ta-da! Once again, I've wasted glass when I didn't need to get rid of it. I have this big, like, amazing house that I've built. This is this is my room, this little crappy bit here. I need to place some fences around the outside as well, so I'm going to quickly build some of them. Oh, and he's adding... He's, he's already doing finishing touches. He's adding signs and stuff. I haven't even got a floor down yet. I'm kind of glad that I haven't got a mic on so I can't hear him because I'm sure... As soon as he looks in my room, all he's going to do is laugh at me and mock me. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a dog. I got 13 dogs, Craig. What do you have, huh? What do you have? <laughs> it's a bit of a crappy balcony as well. <laughs> There's like three blocks you can walk on. Yeah, well, I got a pretty view. I think this is the nicer side. Originally, I was going to build my room on the side that Craig is, but I thought this is just a bit of a nicer view of all the snow and the mountains and stuff. So I decided to build it on this side. I might add a diving board as well, just as a little added touch. Right, I'm going to quickly hop up here and build along here. Don't know if it have glass or wood there. I think I add wood. Luckily, I went on a massive uh, lumberjack session and... Um, Lumberjack session? Did I really just say that? What does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> luckily I went and gathered a load of wood just before I made this video, so I'm not going to run out of that halfway through. And don't make any <laughs> jokes because they're old now. I found them amusing for the first few videos, now I've got bored. And was that right? Or no, that should have been stone, shouldn't it? Okay, actually, while I'm up here, I might build the, uh, the start of where my swimming pool is going to be. Well, my jacuzzi bath thingy. Because, yeah, I'm going to have water trickling from here. What I wanted to do was have it so there's a switch where you press the button and water will drop down, kind of like a um, like a shower. But I found that even with a trap door, water doesn't go past even when the trap door's open. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. But I think... Where shall I have my swimming pool? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so like I mean with here, I'll just leave this like set up. So I've just got little makeshift steps for when I'm building. Uh, should I have a swimming pool here? Like between these doors or... So I can't have it too far this way because the roof sort of slopes down. So yeah, I think I have a little swimming pool here. I could build it into the floor actually. Make it like a little bit, just a dip down. Kind of like the doggy pool. Or I could have it... I might have it a little bit deeper actually. So I do a mixture of both. Um, i trying to think... It's annoying, like, being in Minecraft, like, everything's got to be massive. Will that be okay for a bath, or is that too small? I suppose it is kind of realistic bath shape. I can just squat in here. <laughs> Actually, if it's deeper, will that be too deep, and will I just drown? Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. Well, I've, I've saved a little bit of wall now, actually, because I can take these away. And build stone in here. A nice little stone bath. Luxury. Luxury having a stone bath. A nice cold stone bath. Oh no, I've, I've completely mucked this up actually. I've done this completely wrong. I retract that because I need white walls here. I've got these crappy walls here still. So I need to get rid of all of this. This is good actually because I'm going to need slightly less wall than I originally planned. Because this will all be snow here. Right, let me add this in. So I'm going to have snow all along here. Out the way, Barnaby. Barnaby, you'll get cold down there. This is snow I'm placing. Blocks of snow. And once again, I did hear that uh, you can melt snow with, um, with like torches and glowstone and stuff. But I built my, my doggy room out of snow and I've had no problems with that. So... I'm still hoping that one day I'm not going to walk into my room and see that it's all melted. I'm really scared to go and look at Craig's room to see what he's done, so I know it's going to be ten times better than what I've done. Ah, I see that Craig's dwindled my snow supplies. Hopefully this will be enough. No, my luck, it won't. Alright, I'm going to go on a quick snow gathering trip. 
you don't know how to gather snow, it's pretty easy. You've got to use a spade. And you basically just walk across the top and just smack the snow with your spade. And you get snowballs will come up. And then every four snowballs makes a uh, makes a snow block. So yeah, this is, this is what we saw Craig doing a second ago. And Barnaby's come to help me out. The only annoying thing about gathering snow is because you can only have 16 blocks of snow at a time. It sort of fills up your infantry really quick, so you often have to keep making trips back to go and create more snow. Oh, and Craig's come to join me. Is he giving me a hand or is he stealing my snow? I, I, I don't think I need too much more. <laughs> well, I think he's trying to help or, or he's just smacking me. Is he just trying to get my attention? <gasps> oh, he attacked me now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Craig. That's what you get if you try and hit me. <laughs> I gather up his stuff and then I give it back to him. Which I probably should have left that hole for him. Oh, and it's getting dark. Oh, he's got paintings, he's got bow mills, he's got all sorts down here. Right, I'm gonna quickly shove down a crafting table. I can't even do that. Right. I'm gonna shove down a crafting table and build a chest here. I'm just gonna dump all his stuff into that. Uh, right, I'm gonna free up my infantry by making some snow and I realize it's getting dark here and I want to be quick because I find that the later you go to bed the more chances you have of uh, enemies getting you. Right, so what wasn't mine? What have I stole from Craig? I don't think I stole that much actually. I'm not sure. Oh well, anyway, we're gonna have to rush and go to bed now. I'm not entirely sure what Craig was trying to do to me there. <laughs> I assume he was trying to help but you want to be very careful if you've got a friend who's got a dog with him. You don't want to hit them, otherwise that happens. I'm also getting very conscious of time, so I'm going to have this nap. I'm going to finish off my wall, hopefully build a bit of my bathroom, and end this video. I didn't think it would take so long just to build that little interior. I think Craig managed it fine, but I think he's a bit more of a proficient, prof proficient builder than I am. Proficient? Proficient. One of those words. He's a better builder than I am. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, I'm going to once again squat with him because... He's got- Oh, look at his room! Oh, look at how nice his room is. Oh, where's my bed? Here it is. Right. <laughs> Aww. I kind of wish I built this by myself now. Craig is honestly just really making me look bad. Right. Forget your room. His room's rubbish. I'm gonna mess all this stuff up once he leaves my lobby. He's gonna come and walk in here and be like, Oh, um, wow, this this is brilliant, Stampy. You you tried really hard, I can see that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I've definitely got enough snow. I think I might have actually stole some of Craig's snow there. <laughs> that was stupid building that there. Right. Well, this, is, this looks a bit better. Oh, don't laugh. Oh, is, is, I think that's him laughing at me. I tried my hardest, okay? And that's, that's, what, that's what really matters. I think I might just leave and leave him to it. Let let him sort my room out. Um, okay, right, so here, this can be where my bath will be. So I don't know if I'm going to have it... I might have it just built into the ground, might be better. That way it's going to take up less space. So if I do... Boom, boom. There we go, here's Craig trying out my bath. <laughs> this isn't really a bath, is it? It's more of a sink. <laughs> if I have water trickling from there, would that look good? <laughs> Because I can't really... I don't know, I do, I do it like this. I have an upstanding bath. Actually, I do it like that. Oh, and I've run out of stone now. Right, I use cobblestone for now just to mark where it will be. And I'm going to collect up this wool because wool is very scarce, as I mentioned earlier. Actually, wait, no, I do need to grab some more stone. I'm hoping Craig will realise what I'm trying to do and help me out. So, sort sort it out for me actually. <laughs> Make it not rubbish. This needs to be blue as well. Right. <laughs> Throw my bed down. Did Barnaby just steal my bed? Oh, that's wrong as well. Is that wrong? That is wrong. 
This, this is the kind of point where I'm glad that I can't hear what Craig's saying, so I know he'd be laughing at me. That's like that one video I made where I was pretty much said nothing throughout the entire video. The reason I was so quiet is because I just could hear Craig the entire time, and it was just really off-putting. Like, every time I'd make a mistake and place a block in the wrong place, just hearing Craig go, <laughs> and just sort of sniggering at me. Okay, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. I will decorate my room a little bit later on and sort of make things a bit nicer. But I'm going to quickly pop upstairs now and um, sort of add some water. So the water will go down the middle of the room, which is, I believe, here is to the middle. Oh, no, I'm, I'm digging down in the wrong area, aren't I? Here, this is where I want to be. Well, I did that right. I got the middle of the bath. That's one thing. I'm not entirely useless, just mostly. Once again, let me reiterate. Don't watch these videos for tips. You want to watch them. I don't know why you'd watch these, to be honest, because I'm not particularly entertaining and I don't give many tips. I don't know. I suppose you just might get interested in my world and want to see what, what's going to come from it. Right, so if I do it like this and have a block up here and extend this out a little bit more and have a block here I could kind of put water trickling down from each side luckily I have two buckets of water at hand anyway so I have a water coming from like there water coming from there there we go this looks pretty cool I'm just hoping I haven't completely flooded my room now I'm going to go down and see that the water's like completely melted all my walls Right, let's take a trip down my makeshift waterfall. And ah, here's my bath. Um, <laughs> uh, it's more of a water feature than a bath, to be honest. This hasn't worked out entirely how I planned it. I think it needs to be a bit bigger. I think it, oh, <laughs> and down pops Craig. Right, if I extend it out a bit like this, I'll sort out the fact that I got wool soon. Oh, what's my dog whining at? Oh, my, my dog's too fancy to come down there. He went down the steps. Right, yeah, so here's my little bath. I think my room might end up a little bit too cramped, to be honest, having that and have a little bed here. Basically, the... Has Craig done a snow <laughs> on my balcony? Has he resorted to doing snow... <laughs> right, okay. I think this sums up... This is going to about sum up this video because... I don't want to put you through any more pain of watching me struggling to build before Crimson's Crib. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Right, so yeah, th this is, in summary, this is Craig's room. And this monstrosity across the hallway is my room. Yeah. <laughs> that about sums up the end of this video. By the next video, I will have redecorated and sorted out the mess that I have created in this video. But I hope you enjoyed this anyway. Cheers for watching, everybody, and I will see you later.